Hello and welcome to our NCPA Vistar series. Today we have Molina Singh with us, who is an Odyssey exponent. And today we have a school from Manipur, Pitambar English School. I welcome you all. Thank you so much, Maria. Uh, there is a lag. I... Okay, I couldn't understand uh, because your voice was cracking. If if, uh, if uh, my voice is not audible or if there's any technical glitch, do let me know. I'm yes. presuming that uh, things are fine. So uh, I would like to see, uh, can you just highlight the Tambur school, please, for once? Can you just pin them? Yes, did uh, have pinned Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Karamjari, and a very warm welcome. Mm. I am so delighted, and it's an honor. I know that I would be getting a chance and opportunity to connect with my home state and we, with you lovely students of Manipur. And I think I am very thankful and my gratitude towards NCPA Swapnakalpa of thinking of me and considering me for this opportunity. And well, this is an initiative which I think we students from the Northeast, we need to incorporate more and get them more connected to the mainstream India. And art is the best way to connect. So not, uh, I will not talk more about this and try to introduce, uh, but before this, I, am, I just want to say to all you lovely students out there that I say Manipur Dagini, uh, my parents were Aigi Pabung Ima Moidi Manipuri dancer Lerambi. But I was born and brought up in a very small town called Dhanbar, but a very famous town, which is now in Jharkhand. So Aigi Mitai Loan said, Jamna, Jamna Phat, uh, I mean, it is not very nice, but I will try to incorporate as much Mitai Loan I know and you are free to laugh at me. I have no <laughs> problem in that. So you can laugh at me. You can say, oh, Jar, you said something wrong because my Manipuri is bad. But still, I will try. And uh, let's keep it as an interactive session because I know uh, when students ask something from a teacher, we learn so much because sometimes uh, we have not seen something from a different perspective. So y'all will be teaching me something to me and I will be teaching something to you guys. Okay. I know, uh, uh, I want to know that among your, you guys, kana kana jagoi se tambani, any dance form y'all, uh, y'all learn. So you just raise your hand and you can just tell me. So, so just, just, uh, Oja, Oja Nenema, welcome. I can't see you, so I can't understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, can you, can you just tell me that? <laughs> oh, great, great. Oh, yes. Now it's nice. Oh, how nice that see we are mat we are wearing matching colors. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. that was a telepathy, I guess. <laughs> okay, so what are the dance forms uh, the students are learning? Any dance form? Folk dance, folk dance. So they are learning folk dance. Great, great. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 So now, 
before I start talking about Odyssey, the dance form which I am trying to learn and try to specialize, I don't know, it is a long process, but still, what is dance? Now, when we say dance, we know when we are happy, we dance. When we want to celebrate, we dance. So in since time memorial, I mean, uh, since, since Stone Age, when people were just, uh, when they had done their hunting and when their stomach was full, they wanted to share their happiness. So how they used to celebrate. They used to come together and then they used to dance. Like Noigi Akwigi Thabang Chongbi. It just went, the holy just went, and we all did Thabang Chongbi. So we all were dancing and we were dancing together with happiness, sharing, laughing. So initially, the dance was a, it's, it was a medium of communicating, bringing, coming together, sharing happiness, celebrating something. So it started with that, and there were tribes. In ancient times, there were tribes, and those tribal dances started coming, and it became uh, what we call, in, uh, in a way, we can say those were folk dances. Like what uh, many of you might be knowing that Lai Harauba was initially, it was a folk dance, the Maibu Jagoi and it, everything. These are the Manipuri dances, which I'm talking about. But when the Ras Lila came, how it changed from folk dance to classical. Now, what is classical dance? Do you have any, anyone knows what is a classical dance? Any answer? Yeah, okay. Uh, your, your voice is not very clear. So you can come towards the camera. If the, is it possible for any one of them to come and uh, speak to the camera? No, it's always... <laughs> Come, it is it. We'll have fun. Come. I want to see your face. You all are too far. I can't see. Yes. Oh, great. Hello. Hi, you. Hello. Hello. So now tell me which dance forms you know. What is classical dance? Uh, sorry, I I can't figure out because the voice is breaking a lot. So you don't use the mic. You don't use the mic. Come near to the computer wherever the computer is, and just talk in a normal tone. Don't use the mic because it's vibrate. It's like echoing. Come, darling. It's fine. Come. Mm -hmm. Mimic means um, every person are not able to dance it easily. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Once again, please. It's a dance which everybody are not easy to dance. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is not easy to dance classical form because uh, do you know why it is not easy to dance classical dance form? Anyways, okay, okay, fine. Very good. I love the way you described it. Excellent. So what happened then when people were doing folk dances, when they were rejoicing? So, for example, what do we do in Thabang Chungi? We just do, we just swing like this. So everyone is swinging like this, isn't it? So when we are swinging, when we are not aware of the movements, we are just doing it. 
as if we are just re that, that repetitive movements. So without giving it any meaning or any thought, that is what is a what we call we do in folk music or folk dance when we are just rejoicing and there is no thought going. Few of the people might who were more inclined towards being more uh, giving it a thought, giving it a meaning. When you start giving meaning to your movements, then it can transform into classical. What is classical? It has got some meaning class. You can differentiate it. You can uh, codify it. You can make some rules and regulations that this is what I will be doing. And in that framework, I will be creating whatever I'm thinking, my vision, whatever imagination. So the creation of movements, how I take a movement and how I like, just for example, what we did was in Thangban Chungdi, we are just chong ba dum tau. I see, I see chongi. Go. Now, if I feel that, what if I am swinging? So I swing and I make it, give it a meaning. Isn't it? So this gesture can be incorporated in a narrative when probably I am trying to uh, say a story but Krishna Radha is swinging, isn't it? So how the thing started transforming and evolving, movement started getting evolved. So the changes started happening. How we use a hand, how we use a face, how we use the expressions. So classical dance form, in if in a rough thing, if I say, like not going deep into it, it is full of meaning. And when the meaning comes, when the meaning comes, when you give a meaning to something, it gives uh, emotions, right? If I say, uh, she was so bad, she didn't talk to me. So I'm feeling inside anger, sadness. So because you have given a meaning. So when you give a meaning to a gesture or a movement, you can feel it. And when you feel it, you express it. And how beautiful you express is how the classical dance forms have been trying to evolve, creating. And not only in expressions or in, uh, in movements through different, different uh, stories which we have taken, the emotions, what we call, in, there is a whole theory in that, rasa theory. The navras, there are nine basic emotions. But before I go into that, I have uh, jotted down a few points because I didn't want it to deviate from uh, the current topic and keep it very simple. So I'll be referring to my notes, yeah? So don't laugh at me because I have poor memory. And here I would like to share my screen and, uh, okay, so where is my PPT God? We are talking about Indian classical dance. So Indian classical dance, how many Indian classical dance you all know of? Indian classical dance, it means that kari kari no kama kana kana khangi. Come on. Raise your hand. Okay, okay, okay. So I think you all know pretty much, but still I will uh, share and I think uh, it started with, can you see the screen? Uh, Shama, they can see my screen. Was it visible? Yes, your screen is visible. Oh. <laughs> so initially there were four uh, classical dance form which was recognized 
and those were it was Bharat Natyam from Tamil Nadu, and then it was uh, then uh, Kathakali from Kerala, and Kathak from North India, and also the central part. So and our uh, Manipuri. So these are the four classical dances, which was recognized. And uh, after a few years, when uh, there were more discoveries that, because India, if it is such a vast country with such beautiful and rich culture that we are still exploring. There's so much to explore and so much to see, so much to learn. So later, they found that there, are, there is a beautiful um, form called Odyssey, which has a very ancient base. It got, it had disappeared in a way. <clears throat> then there were gurus who revived it. And so Odyssey was included. Odyssey is from Odisha. Okay. And that's my guru, my guru Lingaraj Pradhan. And uh, his wife, who's also, uh, she also teaches me sometimes. Her name is Sanjukta Dattu Pradhan. And after the seat was Kuchipuri from Andhra Pradesh, right? And Mohini Attam from Kerala. So these, another three were in, like included. And it was recognized that these are beautiful and it is difficult to really master them and they were classified as classical dance form. Awfully, much later in the recent times in the past, I think I might be wrong, but past four, five years or probably more than that, two more classical dance form has been included, which is uh, from Assam, Khatriya dance and the Chow dance from West Bengal, Jharkhand, and Odisha. Right? So I'll come back again to this PPT, but uh, mm -hmm. the, this was about the classical dance forms which we have in India. Now, I what I do is Odyssey. Odyssey, as I said, belongs to a state called Odisha, which definitely you all must be knowing. You all are smart, intelligent students. And uh, it was, it had already vanished. In fact, it is one of the most ancient dance form which has inspiration from temples, the sculptures. Mm -hmm. So whatever uh, the, the movements, the, the yeah. postures, which we do in Odyssey is inspired from those sculptures. It is a very sculpturous and very lyrical. It has the flow. Like Akhoigi Mitaigi Manipuri Ki Rasvida Dumai, it has a flow, right? So uh, I will be uh, on my, on this, like while I just try to talk about more about Odyssey, what I would like to talk more about how we start a classical dance form, like what is the initial thing, the first foremost thing which we do. In our Indian tradition, we are very, uh, what to say that we mm -hmm. are very respectful. We like to give respect to each and everything. And mm -hmm. nature for us is something we consider as God. So when we are dancing, what we are doing is we are stamping our feet on the ground. So before we start our dance, we ask for forgiveness that Mother Earth, please, uh, I'm sorry that I'll be stamping my feet. So give me, please forgive me. So that is the first thing which we do before we start our dance. In Odyssey, uh, normally when we start a practice or when we start our uh, performance or so and so forth, the first thing which we do is Pa, E, T, 
न क धी नी ता ई थी न क धी न के ता so what i did i touched the earth and said please forgive me because i will be stamping at you on you and i need your blessings there is a beautiful shlok you know you all must be definitely knowing shlok we all manipuris we know shloks so there is a beautiful shlok which talks about uh it goes like this समुद्रे वसने देवी दैट मीन्स द ओशन द वॉटर इज योर कॉस्ट्यूम हूज कॉस्ट्यूम द मदर अर्थ सो समुद्रे वसने देवी पर्व mandalam what is the second thing that your parvat the mountains is your bosom which so beautifully decorates you right and then vishnu this is the chakra the shudasan chakra vishnu patni wife you are the wife of Lord Vishnu. So, Vishnu Patni Namaste Bhyam Padas Parsha Shamar Swami. So I ask forgiveness from you. So, uh, I hope you all are understanding what I'm saying. Is it if I if you don't understand anything, please 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 let me know, right? Just uh, there is an there is a reaction button there where you can just raise your hand, right? So I'll just ask. So please feel free to ask me anything anything. so now i did so many gestures i did this okay i did this i did this i did this so these are you won't see this in any folk dances these are specially used in classical dance form and the classical dance forms has the base in a it's an epic book which is very very important for all dancers which is known as natya shastra so natya shastra describes all the beautiful gestures from your head to till your toe everything every body part has been described but how it can be used aesthetically beautifully right so hmm uh after when when we finish asking permission from mother earth that please give me permission to uh, do my practice or do perform or do my dance after this in odyssey we do invocation of uh, god which can be to jagannath because uh since this odissi dance form is from odisha so jagannath ji is very very important that's the main god so uh we give us permission we ask uh, blessings from god jagannath or we ask blessings from lord ganesha and everybody must be knowing ganesh right all know ganesh ji so ganpati is one god who is who uh, takes away all our obstacles it uh, so that's what that's how what we are asking him that uh, we are going to perform and uh, please bless us and be with me because this 
whole experience, which is so spiritual and beautiful. I want you to be there. There shouldn't be any obstacles on my way when I perform this because it's an offering. I must say for me, uh, classical dance is like an, a worship, a prayer, an offering, right? So uh, I will be doing a very short uh, piece, which is known as Mangala Charan. Mangala Charan is like when we uh, invoke, do invocation of any god. So this is an invocation, which I'll be doing. I will be cutting it short so that we can have more time for other stuff. So this is, just let me know if you can hear it or not. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was it? Liked it? Was it nice? Okay. So clap. That is my clap. Yes. <laughs> we dancers, we love to hear claps. Because then we get to know na, ki achha hua, ki kharab hua. You all can understand Hindi. Can you all speak Hindi? Raise your hand. You can speak Hindi? Great. Excellent. Now we will talk about Hindi. Mein baat <laughs> no. I will try to keep it in English and Manipuri. So, after this, uh, now, I did so many postures, so many gestures, and the movements. So what exactly is how do you know that this is Odyssey, right? Because when you might be having a confusion, because I used to have a confusion when I was young, that when I used to see Bharat Natya, when I used to see Kuchipuri, or when I used to see Odyssey, I couldn't differentiate between them initially. Because at the first glance, all of them look same, but there is a catch. How do you know that this is Odyssey? Because Odyssey is the only classical dance form which uses a body posture called Tribhangi. Tribhangi. Tri means three. Bhangi means to bend. So again, I'm going to share. Uh, you can see. Oh, yes. So this is, this is what is Tribhangi. So what I have done is Khu, Khu the Thikpa. I don't know whether my Manipuri is correct or not, but I tried. Okay. So <laughs> Khu is the, your knees, where you bend from your knees. This is the first one. Khuang the Thikpa, your waist, bend, waist, waist is bent. And they are Khadanga Nangi Khaurido, the thick pan. So that is also the third bend. So that's why one, two, and three, the three bends, which you will not find in any of the other Indian classical dance form. So this is one thing which by which you can identify that, oh, this is Odyssey dance. What dance I saw? No, this is Odyssey. And there are other ways also to understand what is Odyssey. So I'll let you know. So the first, there are four basic stances or how you stand. So when you stand, this is how you stand. And if I try to 
take my body weight on my le right leg. So after a point, I will fall, isn't it? Or if I try to take my body weight towards my left side, I'll fall. So I have to keep weight equal on both my feet. So when you keep both the feet, uh, uh, the, the, the weight on both the feet equal, that is known as sama. That is sama bhangi. So this is in order to see known as sama bhangi. Now, if I'm tired just standing like this and I want to shift my weight, so I shift. So what I have done, I have given a little bend to one of my knees. So my body ha weight has shifted, but not that much so that I fall. So this is a bhanga. So even if I shift to my right, this is a bhanga. So it can be either ways, a bhanga. So if I shift my weight from one feet to other feet, it is called a bhanga. In Odyssey, sometimes we try to do more of a bhanga. This, like we try to protrude our hip and bend our knees more. This is called ati abhanga, right? So ati abhanga. Then we, this is also a very beautiful, one of the most important part of Odyssey. So we separate our feet, bend our khu, and try to make a square. So this is known as chauka or square. And it resembles Lord Jagannath. If you go to Govinda temple, you will see Lord Jagannath's uh, statue. It stands like this. So Odyssey, since it is inspired from all the temple sculptures, so the basic stance is all like this. Where I did this kind of a thing, the dance, postures which I lifted my feet. So these are all in chauka. Chauka. So this is how I incorporated, included chauka stance in the dance, right? Even when I was doing tari kita di. So all these come from the chauka. Now the most beautiful and important Important because I love it. The Tribhangi pose. So, what we do is we bend, we try to shift our weight towards the standing leg. So, this is leg has to be absolutely light and free. And we position it, bend. So, here is the bend, here is the bend, and here is the bend. So it is almost like an S, S shape. So one, two, three. Three bhangi. So this is very important. So where I did this kind of a thing, or th this is something else, which we can come later because it keeps changing. But the four basic posture of Odyssey, in fact, in other dance form also it is used, but tribhangi is especially used in Odyssey. Now, <laughs> uh, how much time do we have? Do I think, uh, Shama, just let me know because I would like to take some question answers sessions as well. After, we have more 10 minutes. Oh my God, oh my God. So we have very less time. So I would like to show you after we finish this, we do. Pardon? Did you say something, Shama? Take some time because we really. Yes, yes, I would love to. So now I would like to share something. It is called Pallavi. Okay. Uh, that this also I will not share the whole video because then it will become uh, too long. So Pallavi 
is uh, comes from the word pallav or the bud. So how a flower bud just opens up. That's how the dance it starts with a very slow movement and then it starts blooming and then it becomes fast. So this is known as pallav. It's a very technical portion. With do we do have expressions and stuff, but so just watch it. I don't want to prolong the whole thing. I'm sorry because we have very less time. So this was called Pallavi. Okay. Now, uh, Odyssey has another very specialized, a very specific kind of uh, torso movement, which you won't be finding at any other classical dance form, where we try to move our torso. So you must have been noticing that when I was dancing, so I I I, I normally do. I move my torso along with the movements. So this torso movement is very typical of Odyssey. Now, I had explained you how to differentiate it from the other Indian classical dance. What if I say, how you will know that this is Indian classical dance and this is from other part of the world? How does Indian classical dance form is different from Chinese traditional dance or a Japanese traditional dance or any other part or a Russian ballet. How do you know? So the Indian classical dance has a very deep rooted base on what we call the uh, mudras using our hand, which is called hand gestures. So we use it together, which is called a Sanyuktahast, and if you don't, we use it sing, like singly, then it is known as a Sanyukta. Uh, for example, I see the Kuba. Mm-hmm. If I say, does this, if I just show it like this, it doesn't have any meaning, right? You will say, what is this? You'll say, uh, teacher, it is a palm, it is a Kuba. If I or do something with it. If I do this, what is this? Tell me. Ishing, ishing, water. Or it can be 
breeze, breeze, right? Or if you want to call your friend, hello, if they are far, hello. See, these hands can do so many things. If you just want to use your fingers and if you just bend them and open them, it's like, come, come here or come here. So this palm was called pataka, okay? In Nata Shastra, the hand gestures, this mudra was known as pataka, simple mudra. That was the first mudra. Even if now, if I want to bring it together and do some twist, give it a something interesting. So what I do, I bring them together, cross them over, and cross the thumbs. And I try to just bring my fingers in and out. Try, try, do it. Yes, what is this? Yes, bird. So see how interesting it was. So whosoever thought about it, that this is how I can, even if you don't tell anyone what you want to say, just by gesture, you can say it just flew away. Oh, the bird flew away. So you can show, this is how the Indian classical dance becomes so interesting because we use hand gestures, the mudras, which no other dance form in any other part of the world they use. And how do we give meaning? If you just do this, 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 Okay, you will say, okay, maybe it is butterfly, it is bird, fine. But if I do, if I do, it just flew away. So how do I give meaning when I look at it? When I look at my mudras? For example, if I show you a mango, if you have not seen it, you will not know, you will not remember its taste, you would not remember it's, uh, what it is. But if you look at it, suddenly your eyes will go bright. They say, oh, wow, I know. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So when you look, so that is how there is a slope that wherever your hand goes, your eyes should follow. And when your eyes follow, so what happens? Your emotions, your nangi thawai aada challi. Petra, you feel, oh my God, this is, this is a flower or a mango, oh wow. So you feel nice. So when you feel nice, that feeling, that emotion is what makes the whole thing interesting. And that is called rasa, the rasa theory. If you see something beautiful, you have to see to feel something, isn't it? You have to hear the music to feel that emotion. So dance is like that. You have to feel it and then you can emote it nicely. So what I was talking that uh, Indian classical dance and how though we differ from the other world uh, dances, dances is the mudras and the facial expressions. Even the, the way you lift your eyebrows is being described in Nati Shastra and how it should be. Like if, you, if a girl is very pretty, oh wow, Sundari, this is known as Sundari. The way a peacock moves, a pigeon moves, a bird moves. So this is how, I'm just giving you a small glimpse. I won't go deep because it's very, 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 very vast. But if you guys are interested, you should always read it. It is there in Google. Uh, it's in English also, the translation. So you all can always uh, get knowledge. It's always nice to know new things. So <clears throat> now, uh, Odyssey, if I say, do, do you want to do any, any other mudras with me? Like simple mudra, see. Open your thumb, nangi khubi. Then open your middle, uh, the first one. Second one, the ring finger and the 
little one and then you come back one two three four five and you from your wrist you move it back so one two three four five beautiful oh that's wonderful you guys are awesome all are dancers two three four five so what exactly is this when you open what ha you have made this is known as alla padma this is half blossomed flower okay alla padma so in many gestures we do this we bring in odissi we use this very frequently and if we want to bring a bee so so what we did bring, take your first finger bring it at the base of your thumb bring your middle finger and touch your thumb right excellent and now move it that's b <laughs> how does the b sound so this is these are all hand gestures right so you all have learned it great i'm happy and you all are so good my goodness excellent you all are so this is known as hasta mudras we did it like asa yog it is single hand gesture but we bought another one so we did this and the simplest if you both bring both the patakas together what is this namaste anjali namaste this is known as anjali so see how beautifully it has been codified it has been written so that people can <clears throat> understand remember even if we belong to a different classical dance form when we say okay if i see a bharatanatyam dancer let's do anjali mudra she will also know this maybe her style is different but we will both all know the same mudra right so <clears throat> we spoke about mudras another the costume the first thing right you need to see something isn't it how do you identify things when you see so the first thing which is very i didn't like specifically in used in odissi is this belt this belt is known as benga patia so i have a my screen is there so i'll just show um kaha gaya okay this i'll come this is benga patia okay and in odissi what we do normally is we use only silver jewelry odissi dance they use only silver jewelry and it is beautiful i didn't wear it today because it becomes too elaborate i had to do a lecture demonstration but you must have seen my uh, that performance so i am wearing all that another more important thing is it's known as tahiya it's our head like uh, here which is known as this this is tahiya and the most this is not actually the tahiya it is the decoration which we use here like this okay uh, wait um so this is the like this and this is the basically the tahiya which comes in between like this so it is i can't make out how to do it because it is <laughs> i'm just trying to mirror it now what is this tahiya so tahiya basically you see the temple over here so the shikhara so the tahiya donates the shikhar the topmost level of the temple of jagannath and what i feel that it donates that uh that when we are dancing this whole body is like a temple and we are carrying that spirituality that blessings together it's like an offering it's an it's an ultimate offering to lord jagannath so odissi has this what is it called tahiya yeah and the belt is known as 
बेंगा पाटिया ओके सो नाउ यू ऑल नो सो मच अबाउट ओडिसी any i had wanted to show another uh, video but i think we have very less time so i would like to have a question answer session so please feel free come near to the uh, laptop it will be much more easier right so marian is that possible or do we have time oh uh, great great students if you all have any questions you can come ahead and ask Anyone? You can raise your hand. Come, come. You can raise on anything. You can anything. also tell about your experience. How did you enjoy the sessions? You can share. I would love to hear whether it's good or bad. You understood anything? It was definitely a good session. We really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm really very grateful to NCPA for doing this, and the students. You all are so sweet. You all are so disciplined. and in fact it is very uh, expected from manipur that we are very good in disciplining <laughs> so it is i knew that i expected that but yeah yes i also expect lots of questions from you all so come kuch bhi pucho come 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 did you all enjoy the session session <laughs> and लाओ लाओ हंगू हंगू करीम शो हंगू हंग बजाय लैपटॉप की मिसिंग अमुक तब जा करी करी अमुक तब जाए मुद्रास डेफिनेटली इफ वी गेट and cpa asked me to do it again i'll do it again yes. i have to i mean uh, no the the no interaction to over there jam yam na rungai re ji thawai se machi jam pe laga tumni pe laga chani machi ai yam na rungai re it is such a wonderful no no i cha se jam yam na yam na rungai ai you are very sweet you are very nice i'm looking uh, ma'am excuse me yeah yeah can you get Am I audible? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 you are audible. Uh, actually, no, we no, thought that you'll be asking our participants, my children, to perform and show how much they know about our dance forms. Our dance forms, in the sense, are my day job. Oh, okay, so, okay. So, so uh, do we do we do we still have time for some of our students to perform a little bit? Maybe one two minutes. Of course, of course. I think is it fine, Shama? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Please, please. I would love to show something at least. You of course, so of course. Much. Yes, yes. Of course, of course. So, shall I ask my dance teacher to uh, call out some of the students so that they can perform and show you at least something which they know? Yeah, yeah. Shama, you there? Yes, yes. The the short show they can definitely show. Yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. I'm muting myself so that I can hear you all properly, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. 
Is there more light over here? Can, we can't see the kids' uh, face more. Like, is, if you all can just put some more light, is it possible? No, you thong se karang ngahariti ya kara ngangani. Mum me hai bro ma'am. Ah, mum mum bani mum bani. Kar thong hang hariti na. Mujhi mama is uba ngangani. Se ham do bhi se cut cut and do that cut. Kya bra? Ha, curtain se hai. Asi tawro. Hang jalo. Ha, much ha, better, better. Yes, yes, better. Ha, better, better. So now they are going to show uh, mouth dance. Okay, let's go next time. So this was one. We have lined up some few. So next team will be coming up. So you will have to bear with us. Okay, certainly. This was wonderful. I mean, what precision and what uh, dedication. I mean, beautiful. You guys rock it. Lovely. So this is Kabui dance. Outstanding, so wonderful. I was dancing. This was so rhythmic and enjoyable. I mean, brilliant. When the boys are coming, wow. Polina ji, we would like to conclude this session now.
Sorry. Uh, 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 so this is All are folk dances. So we, uh, ma'am, will keep this as a last performance because we have to conclude it. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I can understand. I can understand. Yes. But we actually wanted to show you what we have gathered. No, just this is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. We'll we'll connect again. I'll come to Manipur and I'll definitely visit to you guys. No, we don't have time. I'm so That's sorry. So sorry. We've already okay. exceeded the time. But anyways, it was wonderful. It was this, just this so... This is why we needed another session. <laughs> so yes, uh, yes, you... Definitely, we will come back to you with another session. They prepared it. This one is the last one and they have planned it only for two minutes. So will it be possible to accommodate it? Actually, ma'am, we have a session at three to start. Another okay. session. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, we will, we will, we will keep this session. for the next session. We will definitely, keep this for the next definitely, session. Definitely, we will. Okay, we would like, uh, I would like to conclude this session. Thank you so much, Molina G, for being a part of NCPA Vistar. It was a great, it was great having you here. And thank you so much to the teachers of Pitambar English School for helping us reach out to the students. And a special thanks to the students for being so actively yes. participating. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much once again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Bye, guys. We'll definitely meet again. Bye. Thank Bye. you so much. Thank <laughs> you.